Stephen. An impeachment and removal from office has only happened twice in Texas. The most recent time was back in the 70s. The Republican Majority Investigative Committee made a unanimous decision today to adopt articles of impeachment for Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton. Now, the investigative committee, which includes Fort Worth Representative Charlie Guerin, has been looking into claims of abuse of power by Ken Paxton since March. Yesterday, a group of five lawyers and former prosecutors laid out their evidence and told the committee that Paxton committed multiple crimes. The investigation stemmed from the 3.3 proposed $3.3 million whistleblower settlement with former employees of Paxton who said they were victims of retaliation. The investigators say Paxton provided documents blocked by the FBI and DPS to a political donor. They also say Paxton hired a lawyer with tax dollars who had little experience, used a made-up title, and obtained dozens of court records in reference to the investigation about Paxton's donor. What happens next? The full House is expected to vote as early as Saturday on whether to impeach Paxton. If that happens, then it will be up to the Senate. I think it's unlikely that they would have thrown the whole legislative session into turmoil unless they thought that they really could move in a substantive way uh, against the attorney general. Of course, the bar for removal from office is high. It takes two thirds in the state Senate. And that really makes the lieutenant governor a pivotal player here because the lieutenant governor is the dominant party in the state Senate. Um, what happens there largely happens uh, b because the lieutenant governor decides that it can happen. Now, in a tweet during the executive session for the committee, Ken Paxson tweeted this, saying, quote, overturning elections begins behind closed doors. An employee of the attorney general's office came to the hearing demanding to give witness testimony. That's the man you see there in the tweet picture. He claims that the committee is acting in an illegal manner and claims that no one requested testimony from the attorney general's office or the attorney general. We reached out to the House Speaker's office to see if he could confirm when the House would indeed vote on impeachment. They gave no comment. The regular session ends Monday, but lawmakers can call themselves back to handle impeachment if a vote does not happen before then.